Hey, what's up and welcome on this new tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how to import the 3D objects from the game StarCraft 2 in Adobe After Effects and we're going to use 3ds Max uh, to do that and first of all what we're going to do is to extract the 3D objects from the game library which means that you have to buy StarCraft 2 uh, to do this tutorial and we're going to use the MPQ Archives editor that you can find here I'm giving you the link in the video description we're going to extract the files from the game library and then we're going to import them in 3ds Max using the M3 import script that you can download here. And doing that, then we can export the 3D objects from 3ds Max to Adobe After Effects using Element 3D. So nothing new here, but I'm just giving you uh, a few tips to import the textures uh, di directly from the game library using Photoshop and just a plugin uh, that you can download here uh, which enables us to use the original textures from the game uh, in Adobe After Effects using Elements 3D so that's pretty cool you can animate your objects uh, directly uh, in Adobe After Effects you can even do uh, 3D trackings then with your object so this is a really rough test that I made this morning uh, doing this tutorial here the tracking is it's not bad the animation is rough but you can see what you can do then using this technique. So we're gonna go ahead and use the MPQ editor that we have downloaded from here. So let's go ahead and do it. So once you've extracted uh, MPQ editor from the archive, is then you just have to launch it and when it's the first time that you launch the program uh, you just have to choose the directory where the original files from the game folder are going to be extracted and the second directory is here it's the, your original StarCraft 2 folder on your hard drive then hit OK then you're going to open a new MPQ and you have to go on your hard drive on your StarCraft 2 folder then MOS then Liberty SC2 mode and then you're going to choose Base SC2 Assets then click Open and right here you've opened your models and what you're going to do is that you're going to right click here on assets which contains basically everything that we're going to use uh, in 3ds Max like the textures or even the models you're going to right click on assets here on the menu on the left and click choose extract and then you're going to extract that on the folder that you want and hit OK. So once MPQ Editor has finished the extraction, then you can go on your hard drive and you go, you just have uh, to double click on the folder that you have created. And then inside you've got everything from the game StarCraft 2, such as the textures or even the units. And if we go to the Terran units, we can see that we've got the Banshee, which is an M3 file and so that's why we use the plugin uh, M3 import uh, for 3ds Max to use those files and then export them in Adobe After Effects so you just have to extract the script uh, to your scripts uh, folder on your hard drive and then you just have to launch 3ds Max so this works with uh, 3ds Max uh, 2013 and 2012 as well uh, you, then you just have to go on Max script and run script then you just have to select the M3 import script here, click open and once you've clicked open just go on your uti utilities here on max script then then you're going to go to the M3 import function here and what's cool is that then you just have to open your folder we're gonna go back to the banshee and launch the banshee.m3 file and then we're going to hit import and then uh, this works here because I've already uh, used the textures it means that you have to go on your game base directory uh, which is here your assets folder and here you've got a folder which is called textures you can go on that and here you've got every textures from the game it means that if I want to use the textures for my banshee I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna select the, all the banshees textures that we've got in this folder and then you just have to hit Control c to copy them and you just have to go to your 3ds max maps folder and paste them so that when you're going to import the object using the import function here it won't uh, uh, show you a dialog box which basically tells you that it cannot find the texture so this is a way to do that you just have to import the textures from the game folder to your 3ds max folder maps folder and once you've done that you can then import the objects and that's cool because you have the original texture from the game and then you can maybe export that and an OBJ file 
directly in Adobe After Effects. Uh, but if you do that, you're just going to have one object and maybe you would like uh, maybe the propellers uh, on the left and on the right to move so that you're going to make a, a real animation of your object inside of Adobe After Effects so maybe you're just going to maximize uh, this view here and you're going to select your object and then you can right click on it and you're going to convert it to an editable mesh so then you're going to select the polygon function here and you're going to select the polygons that compose your propellers here on the left and even on the right for each side of the banshee and once you've selected all the parts of the object that you want to cut from the original mesh then you just have to right click on this object on this part that you have selected and click on detach and you're going to name that then click OK and now what's cool is that you've created an object it means that you can go to your select from scene menu here and select your propeller right that you've just created and I'm going to assign this object a material uh, using the material editor here and right here you can see that in our scene we've got this material but we can't use this material uh, inside uh, right inside of Adobe After Effects like that we're going to delete that it doesn't delete that from the scene it just deletes that from the view and then we're going to create a new standard textures by double clicking here on the standard texture we're going to double click on the on the title and we're going to give him the name that is going to have uh, inside uh, Adobe After Effects so propeller right and we're going to apply this material to our proper right object in the scene using the assign material to selection here so right now what's cool is that we've created two different objects each one with its own uh, textures and what's cool is that our propeller on the right is going to have the original textures uh, from the game uh, as well but we can animate it uh, independently from the whole objects so now we just have to export our object uh, using the export function and here we're going to use to choose the obj type uh, here and we're going to give him the name that we we want it's save and here we're going to export the maps as well so we're going to hit on map export here and you just have to check the use map path and it's going to be the default uh, maps folder uh, from 3ds max and that's cool because that's where we have put our textures when we've imported uh, our model and that's cool hit ok and then export that so now you can go to your 3D models folder on your hard drive. It has created um, the OBJ file and the maps directory as well. And as you can see, we can't use these maps uh, in Adobe After Effects because they are they are in DDS format. So that's what we're going to use the plugin that I'm giving you the link here, and we're going to install that plugin from Nvidia for Photoshop. So that's we're going to import those files in Photoshop and export them as JPEG files. So that's what we're going to do just right now. So you just have to launch Photoshop and in Photoshop you just have to open the textures that have been created by 3ds Max and as you can see they are in DDS format and just choose the diffuse for example it open load it as the default sizes and here you can see that we've got our banshee textures and then we can then maybe just save it as a JPEG file uh, so that we're going to use it uh, in Adobe After Effects and what's cool is that it comes with the normal bump textures uh, as you can see here we've got this texture which is going to give some depth to our model inside Adobe After Effects so we just have to save that as a JPEG file and then we're going to go inside Adobe After Effects and launch our object and in Adobe After Effects you just have to create your comp maybe create a new solid all that element because we're going to use the plugin element from Video Copilot and inside element go to your scene setup and here we're going to import our 3D model so we've got our Banshee tutorial one propeller that we have created here I'm going to hit open and here we've got our object and we've got even have the wires here it means that we could have chosen to not export this part but here we didn't do that we just have to uh, uncheck uh, the display and here we've got our object and maybe you're going to texture that so as you can see we've got our proper right and if we had made more parts of our objects we would have them displayed there 
So what I'm going to do is on my standard part here, I'm going to choose the diffuse textures that we have created in Photoshop. So just go to your Maps folder and choose the diffuse that you have created. Hit Open and hit OK. So now you can see that the texture has been applied and we could even add the normal burnt texture. So we've got it in our folder here. Hit Open. So that's cool because it gives some depth to the model. Hit OK. You could even uh, increase the value of the normal bump here and so now we just have to apply the same texture to our proper uh, using the same folder and the same banshee diffuse.jpg file it open and you could even add the normal bump for this part as well by choosing the same banshee normal.jpg file that we have created in Photoshop hit OK and now you've got your 3D model right in Adobe After Effects and what's cool is that this is a real model from the StarCraft 2 game and you even have the textures and then you can play with it with Adobe After Effects. So this tutorial is over. I hope you enjoy that. I really recommend you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will be giving free StarCraft 2 models uh, that I'm going to create for my personal animation and I'm going to give free uh, file uh, footage that I'm using in my tutorials. So subscribe to the channel to get the models and I'm going to send you the link for this example for this Banshee. You can download it if you subscribe to the channel and I'm going to give you the link so that you can maybe animate your own uh, Banshee in Adobe After Effects. So that's cool, have a good day and see you soon.